dropped into a pond that causes a circular ripple to expand outward from a point of impact. So we want to know based off of this. So I'm just going to draw a crude splash here. So it, it, it ripples out like this. And as the longer it travels, the faster it, its area increases with that ripple. So we want to know how fa fast at an exact point. So when the radius is at 20 centimeters, so when we have a radius at 20 centimeters based off of this, and it's increasing at a rate of four centimeters a second, we want to know exactly at that point um, right here at four centimeters a second, how fast the area is increasing. All right, so to do that, the area is going to be equal to pi r squared, like a circle, but we take the derivative here, and even though pi is an irrational number, it's still a constant. So dA dt, derivative of the area with respect to time, is going to be pi times the derivative of r, which is gonna be two r times derivative of the radius with respect to time. So now what we know is, um, we know it's increasing. Okay, so r, the current radius, dA dt is gonna be equal to pi times two times the current radius, which is equal to 20 centimeters, times the current rate with which it's changing at four centimeters a second. So this ends up being equal to two times 20 is 40, times four is 160, so we get 160, and we'll just leave pi as it is, uh, centimeters, per second, and actually this is centimeter squared because we got 20 centimeters and four centimeters. So uh, the current area is increasing and that makes sense because centimeters squared per second. So at that exact moment, the circle's increasing at 160 uh, pi centimeters squared per second. All right, that's it. I hope this problem helped you out. Appreciate you taking the time to watch and you have yourself a great day.